think it was about a, a bit less than a year ago the New York City Ballet approached me and uh, I've never been to a ballet before so I started by coming to ballet, coming to backstage to rehearsal, mm -hmm. to slowly enter into this world. We were really fortunate. The Patricks from Fail last year, we had such an amazing experience with them and they had a, a really great time with us, I think. And in some ways, I think they felt a responsibility to make sure that the success of the series continued. They came to us with some ideas for who we should potentially approach. We had kind of thought that Jara was the, the next best move for us. Basically, the exhibition you're seeing right now incorporates different steps of my work, which is the paper, the black and white paper, that's how I cover the facade, the texture, that's what we're having here on the ground. The whole company is sculpting a giant eye. Texture have always been a big part of my work, no matter where it's in the outside, when I paste on the giant building, you know, pacing every wrinkles of the building. It's always been for me um, an interaction with the architecture. And here, I had to build that architecture. So basically, on a, on, on a flat floor, I wanted them to sculpt something three-dimensional that we did for real in the studio. And then downstairs, I've shown another section of my work, which is the artwork and the artwork is a, is a really important component of my work. I don't produce much and it's basically photography but transferred on wood and it's hand transferred so it takes months to do, peeling hundreds of layers of paper. One of the first things that was really interesting to us was, was that he was a photographer, so that was very different than the medium that we had the year before, and also the scale of his work. You know, we know that last year with the tower, the 40-foot tower that was sitting in that massive, impressive space that's our promenade, that we had the ability to kind of do something on that scale again, and he just seemed like the perfect fit for it. This is so big that we had to shut it in section and, and then recompose it, but it's all real. They, they all like sculpted those sections of paper. In a lot of those sections, actually, I was under the paper to create the texture of the paper and the, and the three dimension of it. When I go into another world, another context, I need to try and involve everyone or whoever wants to be involved. And most of them didn't have to come. It was not forced by New York City Ballet. They all came because they wanted to participate. We had kind of introduced JR to them, told them about the project, and immediately everyone was incredibly interested. And when we put the sign-up sheet up, there were no slots left. In fact, we kept adding and adding and adding to the point where the days were really, really taxing. We shot, I believe, 81 dancers over the course of two and a half days. It was kind of that dialogue of getting to know each other and uh, involving them in a process that is mine, but I wanted them to make it theirs, basically. So they started sculpting that giant eye and making the position that felt right for them. And so it was really interesting for me to discuss with them and, and to interact because when you look around you, a lot of those positions actually are not ballet positions for some of them. And for them, it, 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 it's like walking on another field, which is sculpture. And, and it was interesting to find the boundaries between art and dance. And sometimes they literally cross each other. A lot of the people that are going to walk through are going to give so much interactions with the walk that might make this photo much better than it is. When you look at people walking around it and uh, stopping and, and looking at the person and their shadow on it, it actually sometimes creates a, a much stronger image than the original image. I was really blessed to be invited to, to the art series just because I didn't knew that world and to be able to suddenly get all the doors open, to work with the entire company, to create this kind of gigantic work, it's fascinating. I never got you know, this close to this world and now I feel like I'm getting to know it. We're developing an audience here that we had some strong roots in to begin with, which is why we kind of stepped into this area. And I think as long as the artists are willing to work with us, we're willing to go forward in the same manner each season. Thank <laughs> you.